In the first year that we were open here at the uh, Quilt Study Center and Museum, we did an exhibition called Chintz Applique from Imitation to Icon, and that was really a highlight for me of the last five years. The Jameses, Robert and Artist James, had um, amassed a collection of Chintz Applique quilts that is really rivaled by none, and we wanted to highlight that group and show them off. Um, in addition, and, and, and here's our, our lovely catalog that we were able to publish with the uh, help of the Quilters Guild of Dallas, who gave us support for this publication. Um, the other collection that we featured um, a number of quilts from was the Byron and Sarah Rhodes Dillo collection. And in fact, this catalog and this exhibition were both dedicated to Sarah Dillo after she passed away unexpectedly. Um, she was a, a major force behind the development of our collection. And particularly in 2008, we had a banner year and it was due to, to the hard work of Sarah Dillo and, and we, we miss her terribly. Um, this exhibit was really a, just a blockbuster, a stunning exhibition, mostly in part because of the quilts themselves. Um, they're some of our earliest quilts in the collection. They dated from about 1800 to about 1855. They're uh, the largest quilts in our collection, and they're just irresistible to our audience because they are just so stunningly beautiful, and they represent such a an amazing uh, amount of work that a woman poured into her quilt, and they represent some of the most beautiful fabrics ever produced for quilt making, um, primarily made in England and shipped here to the United States. Um, this exhibition truly highlighted one of the, the most uh, outstanding segments of our collection in these chintz appliques.